Shalom, everyone. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to be here. I love our I love our sanctuary with the the stone and the and the wood and the beautiful windows. And I also love it out here with the the sky and the trees. And I don't know if we're going to get a a moon up while we're still here, but some parts of the year we have the moon and the stars above us and the backlit trees. And there's something really special about being together on Shabbat and outside. I want to say welcome and hello to everybody. Uh, the Mishkan Tefillah book that we're using, our prayer book, is this one right here. If you don't have one, you can just grab one right outside or Steve Florsheim will help you get one. Uh, if we need to leave quickly for any reason, Mark, raise your hand right back there. You can see that there's a stairway that goes down that way. And of course, you have an exit back in through the building. Uh, smartphones, watches, Apple watches, if you can turn them off, you know the rule. If you get a call in the middle of service, I answer it. <laughs> okay. We want to say mazel tov to tomorrow's bar mitzvah families, mazel tov to Danny Sobel and family, and Ben Slipikoff and family. Um, Contorto soloist Jessica Tillum. Anybody not met her yet? Raise your hand if you haven't met her yet. Great. <laughs> Jess is awesome. I think you're really going to like her. Please say hi after the service uh, at, at Oneg. I'm Rabbi Spike Anderson. Take a moment or two or three, everybody. Please turn to the people around you. Hi, my name is Shabbat Shalom. I haven't seen you since whenever. Let's take a moment and really introduce ourselves. Find somebody new. Make sure it works. Find your feet on the floor. We're going to do a three breath meditation just to bring us into the place and the space, focusing on our reason for being here, which is connection, connection and love. Deep breath in, let it out. Deep breath in. And as we do, Jews all over are bringing in Shabbat. We can intertwine with them, let it out. Deep breath in as our breath mingles with all life. If your eyes are closed, you can flutter them open. 
I'm going to ask, and I haven't told them ahead of time, I'm going to ask Susan Wittenstein to come on up, and Elise Keller and Rob Disner. I'm going to have you guys light the Shabbat candles tonight. See, Rob? You get rewarded for coming. You look great. You look great. So I'm going to have everybody um, turn to page 120 in your prayer books, and I'm going to have you rise. We Jews have been bringing in light whenever and wherever we can since time began as we know it. Shabbat is no different. Symbolically, we try, we make an effort to bring more light into the world. So, Elise and Rob and Susan, if you'll light together. And together we bring in the light and the warmth and all that delicious Shabbat love and get ready for our bracha. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Asher kiddushanu bo mitzvot tov v'tzivanu aligner shel Shabbat. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you'd like to light your own Shabbat candles, they are in the foyer just below, uh, as you came in. As we begin to pray Shalom Aleichem on page 142, welcoming the Shabbat angels into our homes and into our lives. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashari, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Amlachi, Makadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem Shalom, Malachi Shalom, Malachi Kadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi Elyon Mi Melech Malachi Amlachim Kadosh Baruch Hu Say it him the Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi Please be seated. <coughs> In a moment, we'll pray Lakharadi on page 138. Lakharadi is the prayer written in the northern Israeli city of Sfat. It's an ancient city. And in the Middle Ages, the Kabbalists, the Lorianic Kabbalists, brought an idea into Judaism or resurrected an idea into Judaism that we Jews have a divine mission. All the way back that we were tapped by God to work with God to take the world from where it is, a place of brokenness and sickness, to a place, the world as it ought to be, a place of wholeness and light and healing. The, the shorthand for this is tikkun olam, healing a broken world. This is the Jewish mission for all time, each Jewish generation, and we as individual Jews are tasked to move the proverbial needle, taking the world from where it is to where we aspire it to be. L'chad Odi can be found on page 138. <laughs> Nas 
do dilly cross go la ya la la ya la la ya la la and ain't shot us in the cabin la Just on the tail end of a holiday that was last night. Anybody know what the holiday was last night? Tuba Av. Tuba Av, the 15th day of the month of Av, sometimes known as Jewish Valentine's Day. It's actually, it's an ancient holiday. It's, there's some cool stuff that happens with it. On Tuba Av, the 15th of Av, it was a dancing festival. When women, women would go into the fields wearing borrowed white clothing so that none would know who was rich and who was poor. They would dance and celebrate the grape harvest. Men would go into the fields to find wives. <laughs> Tuba'av was a holiday of love in which the dance partners chose a life together. Coming in the legend, 40 days before the conception of a new person, God decrees that a person's life partner will be found. Tuba'av falls 40 days before Rosh Hashanah. And the Midrash says that this day and the moon that we're under is the day that God chose the Jewish people before creation even happened. We're living in this time. This moon that you're going to see tonight, that's the moon that we're talking about. Friends, we rise for Baruch Hu, found on page 146. <laughs> inside cover, you'll find the words to roll in the dark as we prepare for the evening to come. <laughs> Day turns to night. 
hear you. Here we go. Roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to night. Page 152, Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Shem kevo malchuto le'olam ba'eh. Please be seated. A week ago, some of us were at the Reform and Conservative Movement's communal Tisha B'Av commemoration over at Beth Tikva, and it was a, uh, a solemn occasion. Tisha B'Av, which is the ninth of Av, the month of Av, that's the month we're in, commemorates the destruction of the temple and the second temple and the Spanish Inquisition and sort of a kitchen sink of tragedy. And the way that it is commemorated is by sitting on the floor and chanting Echa, lamentations, and you're supposed to wear clothing that's not fancy and, and mourn. The other side of the coin, of course, is Tuba Av, which is last night and today. Tuba Av is the Jewish uh, Valentine's Day. And so the rabbis, as they uh, are apt to do, ask what's the relationship between the two? How does one inform the other? And then how do both of them inform us as, as individuals, as people? The rabbis look at the two holidays as two sides of the same coin. Tisha B'Av commemorates the destruction of the temple and, and the Jewish sovereignty in Israel for the reason that they give it is what's called sinat chinam, which means senseless hatred. Meaning that the senseless hatred that we were putting towards one another, starting with what we say, our words, those words were coming out and causing all sorts of problems. And that those words and the senseless hatred that we can have towards one another can tear apart an individual, families, communities, even a civilization. On the other side of it, we have Tuba Av, the 15th day of Av, the Jewish Valentine's Day, the day of love. The 15th reminds us that love is the antidote to senseless hatred. Whether it's seeking out romantic love that will blossom into marriage, or the one for your friend, or for your people. Any love that we feel, say the rabbis, is a hint of the love that we might feel for the divine and reflects the love that God has for each and every one of us. Via Hafta can be found on page 154. <laughs> Vishopechaukumakaukshatam <laughs> Ani Adonai Eloheichem, 
asher hotze yitiatchem, me'eretz mitzrayim, liot lechem l'elohim, ani anonai eloechem. Anonai lechem emet. So take a look, if you will, with me on page 154, the translation of the Via Hafta. Everyone take a look at it. See this first line here in, in the translation in English? Read it with me. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. All right, stop for a second. This is sort of a gentle translation. The shall actually can be translated as, as a will, meaning it's a, an imperative, it's a command that you will love or you must love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your, all your might. Now, Ben, what's the problem with that, right? What's the problem with this command? Ben, love God. <laughs> it's forceful, right? How can you command love? How can you command an emotion of the heart? It seems counterintuitive. So the Megid of Medrich, which is one of our great sages of the Middle Ages, asked, is love not an emotion of the heart? You can't command a person to feel a certain way in their heart because either they have the emotion or they don't have it. A command won't help. Now tradition has it that the Baal Shem Tov, the father of the Hasidic movement, answered, you shall love God means that you should focus your mind and recognize intellectually with logic that we each have the ability to immerse ourselves in ideas that make love possible. Whether or not we actually feel the love for God is not the focus of the command, but rather we are to try to accept the idea that it would be appropriate to love God. In short, our job is to be open. Our job is to try. What happens after that may not be up to us. Micha Mocha can be found on page 108. <laughs> Turn to page 160. We have our Hashkivenu prayer. The Hashkivenu prayer is the prayer that recognizes that life is not rainbows and unicorns always, that there are real things that happen that are tragic, scary. If you'll read with me in the English in the middle of the page, grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and rise us up, our guardian, to life renew. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel 
for your name's sake, be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Hashkivenu 160. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Vehamidenu Spread the shelter of your peace over us. Guide us in wisdom, compassion, and trust. Hashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Deinu Shomreinu Sorrow and pain, Hashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Vehamidenu Shomreinu Lehain Hashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom When asked in a serious manner what's the biggest or greatest contribution Jews have made to the Western world, usually the, the answer is ethical monotheism, the idea that everything is not morally relative, that there is such thing as right and wrong, knowing that to the extreme, it becomes extreme. That joke answer, which is not really a joke, that's what's the greatest thing that the Jews have brought to Western civilization, is the weekend. We invented it. We invented the weekend. What a cool thing to have invented. Judaism does such a great job of making sure that we have moments in time where we are asked, sometimes almost forced just to stand still, or at least to appreciate. We all have schedules and calendars and jobs and carpool and things pulling at us in a million different directions. Once a week, week after week, we Jews have a sanctuary in time, a haven where we can get in touch with our very best self, Jewishly, as human beings, and as a Jewish society. Friends, Vishamru is on page 162. There's some Reuben Israel, it's a Shabbat, Lassot and a Shabbat, let Dora Tumbery Tolam. There's some Reuben Israel, it's a Shabbat, Lassot and a Shabbat, let Dora Tumbery Tolam. Oh, see 
moment ago we talked about the rabbis who want us to juxtapose the two holidays of Tisha B'Av and Tu B'Av. The rabbis love when two things line up or don't line up and try to read into it. It just so happens the stars are aligned this Shabbat and we have both Tu B'Av have just having happened, the Jewish celebration of love, and the portion of Ve'et Hanan and Deuteronomy, which is where Ve'ahavta comes from, which talks about the love for God. It lined up this week, which is nice, because the main, the main portion of our evening, or part of it anyway, has to really to do with love. Love for the Jewish people, for Judaism, and the Jewish community. Now, you all know, and if you don't know, I guess you'll hear it here, that this is a lay-run congregation, okay, as opposed to many other congregations, especially ones that are very big, which are professionally run. What do I mean by that? In a big congregation that's professionally run, if there's a proverbial wall that needs to be painted, they're going to hire someone to paint it. Here, at this place, at Temple Emmanuel, you're painting the wall. It's your wall. It may be done 20% less well than if a pro does it, but you own it. It's yours. And that's the way that this place works. And that's why this place is so very successful. Our volunteers, with their intentions, their actions, the mitzvot that they do, intentionally trying to bring the world to that tikkun olam, that better place that we talked about, it takes not just intention, it takes work, avodah, sacred work, work for the sacred. The board of trustees, of which we are installing our new trustees tonight, are the center of the volunteer lay leadership of this sacred community, and that's a really big deal. So we tonight will install our new members and bless them as they come into this sacred work. What I'm going to ask, and there's a couple layers to this, I'm going to ask the new board members, and I'll call you up by name, to come on up to the front, okay? And you're gonna circle up as if I'm having you go run a, a button hook or something like that. So although not new to the board, new as the co-president, Bill Keller, come on up, okay? <laughs> Financial Secretary, Perry Walter, New trustee, Ben Halpern. New trustee, Harvey Barris. Jackie Barris. Jeff Walensky. And Mark Feinberg. Now applause. There you go. OK. So gang, I want you to circle up together, like huddle up. Now, get in there, Jackie. Get in there. Now I'm going to call up the, um, the board members who are continuing with their service. You're going to come on up, and I want you to surround them with a hand on their shoulders, okay? Co-president Edie Disner. You know what? Let's, let's hold applause to the end, or, or <laughs> we'll, we'll do it at the end. Immediate past president Robert Wittenstein. Vice president Ellen Lindemann. Vice president Evan Altman. Vice president Wendy Frank. Treasurer Eric Warshall, Mickey Rosner, Recording Secretary, Andy Weiss, Trustee, Bev Stahl, Trustee, Dana Niger, tr Trustee, David Jacobson, Trustee, Alan Gilmer, Trustee, Jerry Penn, Hannah Patel, Trustee, Harriet Zoller, Trustee, Julie Weiser, Trustee, Matt Bernstein, Nora Florsheim, Trustee, Stu Dunowitz, Trustee, and then for Brotherhood, Carrie Romanoff, Danny Summerfield, Sisterhood, Julie Mokotov, Teen Leadership Council, Jake Summerfield. Okay, we're doing great. One more level to this. You ready? If, you're, if you are family, if anybody's standing up in this circle, stand up. Don't come up, but do stand up, please, because we want to we honor you, okay? The work that we do, and it's not just the folks that are here, you've got you know, I don't know, maybe 100 families online, people are watching this. We want you to know that this is your honor as well. So, circles and circles and circles of leadership, of connection, 
of community working together for a common vision. Some would say a destiny. So together, we are going to all offer you the priestly benediction, okay? Asking God's countenance to shine upon you for you to recognize the best in yourself and bring the best that you have for this community. May God bless you and keep you. May God's countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's face turn towards you and grant you the greatest gift of all, what you have right now, your feet on the ground, surrounded by friends and family and community and opportunity and responsibility to move this place forward, to move yourself forward, and in doing so, connect to the divine. A sense of wholeness, a sense of sacredness, a sense of peace. And we say, Amen. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Break. <laughs> so, Go on back to your seat. Don't bother sitting down because we're going to have everybody stand up. We have our Amidah, our central standing prayer, our Amidah, which you'll find on page 164 as we invoke the names of the Avot and the Imahot, our forefathers and foremothers, helping us get to where we are so we can take the torch and move forward. Adonai sefata tipta ufia gita hilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu beloheya votenu v'imotenu Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor Vehanora, El El Yon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekonei Hakol, Vezoker Chasei Avot Vaimahot. Mechaye ha kol berachamim rabim, so mech noflim berofe kolim, umatir asurim, umekaye memunato, lishene afar, micha mochab al gevu rot, umido melach, melech me mit umekaye. Umat miyach eshua, v'neman atalakayot hakol, baruch atah Adonai, mechaye hakol. Atah kadosh v'shim chakadosh, v'kdoshim b'kol yom yaluk hasela, baruch atah Adonai, ha'el hakadosh. We continue with our prayers silently, either using the words of your prayer book or the words of your heart. And when you are finished with your prayer, please feel free to take a seat.
והגיון ליבי לפניך. אדוני צורי, אדוני צורי וגואלי, אדוני צורי, אדוני צורי וגואלי. Go inside your heart, just be, go inside your heart and see. What it wants, what it needs, what it yearns when you breathe. Go inside your heart and see. May the words of my mouth and meditations of my heart be kind, be true. May they be acceptable to you. to invite up co-president Edie Disner, co-president Bill Keller, immediate past president Robert Wittenstein to come on up. Thank you, Rabbi. Is it on? Can you hear me? So I, off script totally, as we were praying and singing, behind the two of you, there was a letter in the sky. Did anybody see the letter? What letter was it? What letter was it? An X, or somebody said a T, an X. So when I think of an, an X, what do you typically think of? What does it represent typically? X marks the spot. What else? A kiss, a kiss. Yeah, right? And I was also thinking extra special. Like, we could not have had a more clear sign about how special tonight is. Like, amazing, amazing. So thank you, had to do that. Um, Bill Kellert, hi. So if you don't yet know Bill Kellert, don't worry, I'm getting to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> He is a long time member of our congregation. He raised his now adult children here at Temple Emmanuel. Adult children, can you stand up and let us see you? Oh no, one just went out. No, one just went out with the grandchild, sorry. One, gr one, one adult child can stand up and say hello. <laughs> he served many years on the board, many years before I was a member, and he returned two years ago. And boy, am I glad he did. I'm very happy. I've learned a lot about my new co-president the past few months. He's going to get really embarrassed. <laughs> We've only been working together a short time, but he is really, really good at math. <laughs> if you didn't know that, it's very important when you're paired with me. Very important. He's kind, very dedicated to his family. He loves horse racing. Okay, he loves watching horse racing. <laughs> and he is so thoughtful. When I was sick, he looked up my address in the synagogue directory and he brought me soup. He did, he did. That is the thoughtfulness of my new co-president. And I am so grateful. He carries that thoughtfulness with every decision that he makes. And we are a better congregation because you've agreed to work alongside me. So thank you. <laughs> what do you think? Should we let him be with the family he loves? Yeah? All right, we'll let him be with the family he loves. <laughs> there are some board members who I just want to give a... Um, gracious thank you to, that are lots of them watching from home, that has served many years on the board, and we already did a lovely award for them at their last board meeting. But Tracy Balin, 
Louis Goldberg, Lee Paris, Marvin Goldstein, and Hal Fine all served for several terms on the board, and we're really grateful to have them. So it seems like I have fallen into a very um, interesting pattern at Temple Emmanuel. I seem to get in this habit. I make a lot of asks. I ask big things of our congregation. I'm also grateful that the responses are usually very positive, and the answer is yes. Imagine what's bigger than getting to the end of your presidency and someone, the executive vice president, saying, hey, would you consider staying on an extra year and be my co-president? Well, that's what Robert did. He was ready to be done. We just hadn't planned for COVID. And I felt like I didn't know enough to be the right foundation for our congregation alone. And he said yes. Temple Emmanuel is grateful that you stepped in. You didn't ride it out. If you think he just said, sure, I'll be your co-president. I'll hang out a little bit and let you do the work. Nope, not what he did. <laughs> we have survived and we have thrived during a pandemic. While Robert has been president or co-president, our congregation has built, literally built, what we're sitting in right now, the Schiffer Family Terrace Chapel the Goldstein patio below. We have renovated the Newport Family Library, the Shalom Cafe. The Brill Social Hall was renovated. The kitchen was renovated. We added more parking spaces for those who are not able-bodied. And the list goes on. It's not just big things that Robert's been involved with. He works every Sunday at Garden Isaiah. Every Sunday, he's out there. He serves on the Social Action Committee. He chaired our Spring Fling, which raised over $200,000 for the Temple Emanuel Endowment. He <laughs> built the table that's in the cafe. He built it. When you're standing at that beautiful table, he built it with his own two hands. He had this ark. He restored the ark and put glass panels in it so that we could have that out here on the Schiffer Family Terrace Chapel. He built from scratch a chuppah that goes alongside of it. And somehow, he just keeps saying yes, and he keeps smiling. I don't know how he does it. Robert, your leadership is tremendous. Your generosity with your time is overflowing. Our congregation is a better place because of you. Well, I'm the lucky one to get to stand here today and embarrass you and sing your praises, which he doesn't like at all. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Thank you for saying yes to my big ask. And for everyone else in the congregation, don't feel left out. I'm going to come to you with some big ask soon. Now, before my big ask to all of you, it won't be today, don't worry. I am, we have a gift for you. Rabbi Spike, would you help me with this sure. beautiful gift? Yeah. Um, the plaque, I'll let you down. I'm, I'm afraid to hold it right now because sure. I'm a little high. Okay. <laughs> well, so, so this is for Robert and Susan. And, and Susan, you've been a, a partner for, there she is, for Robert. And thank you for lending them to us. We really appreciate three it. Three years, three years. Three years is a big deal. And you both get the credit for everything that happens here. Um, there's a Seder plate, which is, you know, one that I think that everyone's going to enjoy. And I think it fits your style very well. Um, the Seder plate is going to be used at your Passover Seders. And when you do, hopefully the plaque that goes with it is somewhere close by. It says Robert Wittenstein, Temple Emmanuel President and Co. 2019-2022 to with deep and heartfelt gratitude from your sacred community for your leadership and your blessing. And then we have the Lech Lecha quote saying, go forward unto yourself and take us with you.
Take yourself forward and you shall be a blessing. One last thing, riffing with what Edie said, Robert, of all the things that, that you helped build and renovate here, I know that what I think you're most proud of is not just refurbishing, but really rebuilding that, that arc out there. And the words above it, Manorah Hamakom Hazeh, which is right from Torah, and it translates as, how awesome is this place? Robert, thank you for your, your work and your help. We are so, so pleased. So friends, we can stand up. It's a good, a good thing to do. Service is a service of the heart. And we know, we Jews know when we are in sacred time and we commemorate that sacred time, including these moments with the Shehekianu prayer. Literally, thank you God for this time that we're together. May we have this type of connection, this type of holiness again and again and again. Please join us, 648 Shehekianu. <laughs> Shehekeyanu bekimanu vehigiyanu lazman hazeh Ah, 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 I'm going to ask you to remain standing. Our Misha Berach prayer is next. Misha Barak prayer is the one that we say when we are looking for a healing, a healing of mind, of body, of soul, of relationship. The congregation asked for a refuah shlema, a speedy recovery for Alvin Levy, Sherry Anderson, Cindy Hirsch, David Ben Label, Benny Edelson, Asher Chosmer, Debbie Gilbert, Harris Friedman, Brett Samsky, Shmuel Ben Devora, Mayor Ben Rachmael Vadina, Ashish Sharma, Ken Mincer, Ken Schiffer, Kathy Cook, Michelle Lappin, Marlene Perlman, Kathy Moyle, David Falkenstein. If you have someone in your life, and maybe it's you, that you would like to say Misha Barak for, please say their name when my eyes meet yours, either aloud or in your hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the Minhag Hamakom, the tradition of this place is that you put your arm around the people next to you, if you're comfortable, putting your arm around the people next to you. If you are alone, Feel my arms around yours. Okay, we're all in this together. Ma. 
Remain standing for Kiddush, page 123. For those of our congregants who are at home joining us online, if you have your Kiddush cup, please take it out now. We lift our glass with the fruit of the vine to sanctify not only the day, but this sacred community. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'Mitzvotav V'Ratzav Anu V'Shabbat Kodesho V'Ava U'Vratzon In Kilanu Zikaron Imase V'Reishit Ki hu yom tehila la mikra e kodesh zechel etziat mitzrayim ki vanu vacharta viotanu kidashta mikohamim veshabat kotshecha miyahava uvratzon in Chaltanu, Baruch Atah Adonai, Mikadesh HaShavad. Amen. L'chaim lebracha, to life with blessings. Okay, do we have any um, kids here who have birthdays? Raise your hand if you have a birthday and you're a kid. Anybody have birthdays here? Birthday, birthday. So. If you are a kid and you have a birthday, come on up. You're going to open the ark. And if you want to come up with a parent or a grandparent, I'm okay with that also. But come on up and let's open the ark together. Great. Lead it off. I like it. Any other kids here? Any birthday? A uh, birthday at any point in the year? <laughs> Not today. Any birthday. I, I'm trying to be inclusive. Did I get it? Okay, so go ahead, guys. Go ahead, go ahead and open the ark. Just gentle, gentle. Okay, Elenu is on page five. Just we hope five hundred and eighty-six. Yeah, I'll, start I'll start it. There you go. Is Elenu? Here we go. Elenu l'shaveach l'adon hakol l'atekedula liotzer breishit shelo asanu kiguye aratzot. The low Samanu Kamish Bakod Hadama Shello Sam Kelkenu Kahem Vegoranu Keho Hamonam Vanak Nu Korim Umistakabim Umodim Leaf name Malak Malke Hamakim Hakado Shahu the Nemar, the Haya Adonai, the Melech of Kuharet, Bayom Hahu, Bayom Hahu, Gie Adonai Echad, Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo Echad. Beautiful job. Will you carefully close the ark doors? Carefully. Everyone can be seated. Whoop. One more thing to do, and that is Mourner's Kaddish. And we Jews, we Jews include Mourner's Kaddish and bring it towards the end because it makes sense to invoke the names of those who we have so loved and have loved us back into our sacred moments. The congregation, the congregation sends condolences to Norm Zoller on the passing of his brother, Kenneth Allen Zoller, and Shiva, the families of Sheila Morris and William Cohen, father of Diane Kafka and aunt of Karen Fox. You got the coyotes and the sirens. In Shloshim, the families of Roberta Lax, Elena Lustigard and uh, Halip Eidelman, Sis Cohen, Helen Cranman, Yard Sites is Sirbat for Frida Berger, Lillian Beanstalk, Esther Brill, Scott Burleson, 
Pat Cantarella, Selma Cohen, B. Cohen, Morris Edelman, Bobby Feldman, Rose Finfer, Emmy Firestone, Carl Goldberg, Lloyd Goldman, Stanley Goldstein, Diana Goldstein, Henrietta Guskin, Alberto Israel, Abner Israel, Maurice Janowski, Sally Karst, Lawrence Kessler, Max Comet, Milton Lapidus, Saul Lehrer, Lillian Levy, Ann Levy, Dora Lifshitz, Hilda Livingston, Rosalie Ludmeyer, Arthur Miller, Vivian Fenishi, Sadie Pressman, Selma Rosenthal, Miriam Schoenman, Max Schulwolf, Marvin Silverman, Eugenia Steiner, Winnie Strauss, Norman Teplinski, Sophia Saul Weiss, Manny Zisser. If you are in the Shloshim period of mourning, the first 30 days after a loved one's passing, I'd ask you to rise now so we can recognize you. And please remain standing. If you are in the first year of mourning a loved one's passing, please rise now so we can recognize you. Please remain standing. If you are commemorating the yard site, the death anniversary of a loved one's passing, the Shabbat, I'd ask you to rise now so we can recognize you. If it is your custom to rise in solidarity or for the six million who have no one to say Kaddish for them, we ask that you do so now. And ask that you picture in your mind's eye and you can close your eyes if you'd like to. Picture the person you're saying Kaddish for. Picture them healthy and hale. Have their eyes turn towards you. Your gaze now meets theirs. And slowly, you both begin to smile. Mortars Kaddish on page 598. Yikadav, Yikadash, Me Raba, Be Alma, Divra, Hirote, Viamlich Mahute, Bahaye Hon, Yomehon, Uvhaye de Ho, Beit Israel, Bagalav, Isman, Kari, Vimru, Amem, Yehesh, Me Raba, Mevarach, Lealam, Olame, Almaya, Yip Barach, Vistabach, Vip Paar, Vit Roman, Vit Nase, Vita Dar, Vita La, Vita La, Shme de Kucha, Brihu, La Ela mean cold beer hata, a shirata, Tush Bakarta, a nechamata, Dami Ram, the Oma Vimru, a maim, Yehe Shlama Raba mean Shamaya, Vehaim, a lane of El Kol Yisrael, Vimru, a maim, O se shalom, Vimru Mav, Hu ya a se shalom, a lane of El Kol Yisrael, Vimru, a maim. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom.